Let's go back to Walmart for a minute because I remember you giving me numbers and I always say people lie, numbers don't. Talk to me about, you know, what the numbers look like and the impact you have because I want people to, to, to hear and see what focusing on the, the high dollar claimants, which is the, the secret. I don't know why it's a secret, but it seems to be a secret because most people don't do it and they focus on other things that have no effect on the spend. But what type of numbers and, and, and change did you have with Walmart after implementing these programs? I mean, can you give me some metrics? Yeah, it was huge. Uh, I, uh, all my career, I focused on, well, back in the 80s, maybe 15% of the people were spending 80% of the bucks. In the 90s, uh, 10% were. But today, about 6% are. The, the group of people who are spending all the money is shrinking. But the reason I, I got, kept getting hired by these big companies, I was successful in recognizing that early and dealing with it. When I first started off at Walmart, uh, Walmart wasn't using PPO then, and I, I, I assembled a team of three people, and they did direct contracts with bundled prices with 2,500 health systems in America in the space of about a year and a half. And that that cut my spend at Walmart by $1.4 billion. That was huge. Off of what uh, number? Uh, what, annual, on, tried, what annual spend? Was the, what was the annual spend prior to cutting it? About $1. $6 billion. So $6 billion, down $1.4 billion. Yeah, we had about a we had about a thirty percent rate decrease for everybody, the employees in the company on the budget. 